it's estimated that there are between four and 5,000 personal finance websites out there. Uh, nearly every one of them is giving you basically the same advice with just a slightly different spin on it. I am here to tell you that most of them are trash. <laughs> I'm Scott Siri. I'm the founder of Know to Grow. It's the program that teaches you how you can make money without relying on your day job. In the end, you can live life the way that you want to live it. So, Know to Grow is not a personal finance website. I mean, yeah, we talk about money and all that, but the focus isn't on the tips and tricks to better manage your finances. Instead, it's all about a mindset shift and then making the big bucks. Uh, so over the years, I have noticed that there are two types of personal finance websites out there. There are the ones that they just pump out the same information about saving more, investing for retirement, refinancing your house to a lower interest rate, and earn some extra money by signing up for Swagbucks or Ibotta via this spammy looking affiliate link. The other type of personal finance website really gets into some technical crapola on how to read the charts and how to analyze these stocks and discover the hot trending NFTs, mine crypto, and so on and so forth ad nauseum. For the vast majority of people, you really don't need either of these. Yes, analyzing those stocks and buying at just the right time can be fun, but it's really not a method that anyone should rely on to grow their wealth and to get rich. It's more of a hobby and not a personal finance tip. Most of us know that we need to uh, cut unnecessary expenses and then take that money and save and, save and invest for retirement. And the more we can cut the expenses, the more we can save, the more we can retire, the more money we have to retire on. It's pretty easy stuff. So we don't need all these great tips and we don't need yet another personal finance website. So what do we need? We need two things. First, we need to refocus on how we think and how we feel about money. In one of my recent videos, I talked about how money is just numbers. And when you can take those numbers and you strip away all the emotions from them, it's a whole lot easier to grow your wealth. It's a different mindset about money, a different mindset about earning money, and a different mindset about saving money. We also need to get rid of the mindset that money is evil. Uh, money is not the root of all evil. And actually that Bible verse says that the love of money is the root of all evil. So if you want more money so that you can buy that sweet boat and spend time on the lake, that motivation is pure. It's justified and it's good. The love of money, when it gets out of control, is what goes towards evil things. It leads people to steal to cheat, and to do really despicable things like human trafficking. That's when the tool that money is, is used poorly and becomes a bad thing. So let's flip that mindset. Money is good. Being rich is good. Working your ass off to get that cash is good. And now that we have a new focus on money, we don't need all these investment tips anymore. What we need is more money coming in. 
Saving and investing is an automatic process. You set it up and you just forget about it. Now you can take all that energy and focus it on making more money so that you can afford that boat or you can afford a trip to Jamaica or that really awesome Christmas with your family. That's what know to grow is all about. It's all about helping you get the money that you deserve so that you can live the lifestyle that you want to live and you don't have to rely on your boss to give you that 25 cent per hour raise once a year. All you have to do is head over to www.knowtogrow.com. From after you sign up, I will help you to grow your wealth beyond what you thought was possible. By the way, like, comment, and subscribe if you would be so kind. <laughs> and then I can keep making these videos for you.